If you are in college right now, you have probably seen at least one student with an iPad. Or maybe you are on Instagram and you stumble across some aesthetically pleasing notes. How do they do it? Hey there friends, I am Abhijit, a final year medical student from GMC Nagpur and I have been making digital notes from 3 years. This is the third video in the iPad series where we discuss how to make digital notes on iPad. Before going into the details of note taking, let's see what tools to use and what rules to follow. Tools. We are going to need an iPad with an Apple Pencil or a tablet with a stylus. Then we are going to need a note taking app. For now, I am using Good Notes, which is very handy in taking notes and also importing textbooks and annotating them. People will also recommend you a matte screen protector as it will give you a paper like feeling while writing on the iPad. Well, I am using a glass guard and it still feels quite nice, so I don't think it is needed. Let's now go to the rules of the digital note taking. First and foremost, Choose a tool and stick to it. That means choose your device, choose your app and use that and that only. The notes that you make depend on you and not the tools that you have at hand. So don't go running and buying unnecessary gadgets and applications. Second, make sure you stay engaged until the end. Making notes on the iPad is all fun and games in the beginning, but just like every activity related to studies, it also gets boring at a point. That is exactly when you are supposed to work harder. I know it is tough sitting down and piling up pages and pages of notes on the screen, but when it's done, it is worth it. Third, and it is the most important rule, make sure you back up your notes. Well, what if your iPad gets stolen? What if you lose the iPad to something? What if it gets damaged by water? What if your notes get accidentally deleted by you? All the efforts that you are going to spend years into creating these notes, they are all going to be in vain. So make sure once you are done with your notes, back them up on cloud or pen drive or anywhere that you like. Now that we know the rules and tools, let's take one more step ahead. Which is the best note taking method for you on iPad? There are hundreds of ways that you can make notes, but not all of them are created equal. The most effective note taking method will not only help you understand the material, it will also help you organize and revise it easier than the others. And you know, easy revision means easy marks in the exam. The best note taking method for you can depend on a lot of things. Your subject, your topic of interest, your learning style, the way the teacher teaches you, how much time you have, etc etc. Now I'm going to tell you 5 of the best note taking methods on iPad. A word of advice. Don't stick to one method. Use a combination of them and make the most of the time and effort that you are putting in. Number 1. The outline method. It is the most structured and organized note taking method that we usually use during our lectures. First you add your main point as a bullet or a star and then you create sub points according to the information that you put in. Each sub point usually has one line or a couple of lines of information. And if you want to divide the sub points even more, you can create sub sub points as and when the need arises. This method is very organized and structured and I personally used it every time when I used to take like notes during my PG coaching classes. The finished note looks like an outline which is very structured and easier to revise. And you just get the idea of the whole topic like this is the main point, then comes the sub point. Then comes its examples or details or whatever you want to write in it. That is all there is to it. The best part is that it highlights the key topics. So whenever you glance at your notes, you can easily see what the important topics are. Also, it helps us easily relate to the topics in the hierarchy, order, and it helps you organize those notes mentally in your mind as well. The only problem is that in the outline method, there is no place to add a diagram, a graph or any visual structure because it's just lines of information. A word of advice while using the outline method, don't use articles like A and the, don't pay attention to prepositions and conjunctions, just write plain information that you want to learn. It will be easier to revise in the end. Coming to the next method of note taking and that is the Cornell method. It is one of the most popular methods of note taking. In fact, Good Notes itself has a template of the Cornell method. But just to get an overview of it, you draw one horizontal line above, one horizontal line below, one vertical line in the margin. So that your page is uh, divided into four boxes. The upper one is as usual for the title. The center box is where you write the main content, whatever the lecture, the topic, everything the main crusk of your information is going to be in the center box 
द लेफ्ट पार्ट इज वेर यू नोट द की वर्ड्स एंड क्वेश्चन दैट यू आर गोइंग टू आस्क यूर सेल्फ वाई यू रिवाइज दिस टॉपिक एंड द लोअर पार्ट इज फॉर द समरी ऑफ द टॉपिक द बेस्ट पार्ट अबाउट द कॉर्नर मेथड ऑफ नोट टेकिंग इज द एक्टिव रिकॉल दैट वी कैन डू विद द की वर्ड्स एंड क्वेश्चन पार्ट ऑफ दिस नोट टेकिंग इट इज अ बिट हार्डर टू मेक एंड इट विल टेक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम बट वंस डन वंस अ टॉपिक इज क्रिएटेड इन टू अ कॉर्नर नोट इट विल बी वेरी इजी टू रिवाइज जस्ट गो एंड रीड द समरी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिवाइज द होल टॉपिक जस्ट गो टू द की वर्ड्स एंड क्वेश्चन एंड ट्राई टू एंसर एज मेनी एज यू कैन दैट्स प्रिटी मच ऑल अबाउट द कॉर्नर मेथड द थर्ड मेथड ऑफ नोट टेकिंग इज कॉल्ड द बॉक्स मेथड्स विच इज वेरी सुटेबल फॉर आई पैड इनफैक्ट दिस बॉक्स मेथड वॉज क्रिएटेड by the ipad community for using on the ipad itself well as the name suggests you just create boxes of topics sub topics and write all the key points under them it's very easy just make a box write the sub topic over the box and write all the information in the box that is pretty much all the best part is on ipad you have free free hand drawing that means you can create perfect boxes very easily so that's why it was created for ipad uh, this method can be used when you are noting information about a particular sub topic it is it looks organized and it is very easy to understand and remember the box method can be used especially when you are revising a topic just create a box label the topic add all the information of the topic in that box at the end you will have one summary page of each topic containing various boxes for revision the best part is it is very helpful in revision and it gives you the summary of the topic the bad part is that when you are in a lecture you have to jot down a lot of things very quickly and this method is not suitable for that if you are not using an ipad if you are using a notebook this method is a big hassle because you need scale to draw the boxes but for ipad for revision this is the method to go for now let's get to the next method the charting method this method fills the problem that we had with the outlier method this method basically asks us to make charts these charts are usually tables and tables of information so that you can compare them side by side and spot the differences as well as learn them this is the method i used to learn all the bacteria viruses and parasites of the microbiology i recommend this method for anyone who's trying to learn a lot of examples of the same topic which has the same headings it is great for comparison and summarizing a series of information the only bad thing about this method is that it is the linear method you cannot jot down lots and lots of information in the boxes so it's basically one word per box so you need to limit the information that you are adding in these boxes the last one is the mapping method which is my most favorite method for revisions it is sort of like a map it allows you to organize the notes by dividing in them into branches and enables you to establish all the connections between the topics it is rather simple start with a main topic then write all the connections to that topic let's say it is sub topic a b c d etc um let us assume that sub topic b and c are related by a common topic z so we'll write z by connecting the two of them and thus far the branches are going to widen and the connections are going to get more and more solid as you go through the topic as a whole this method is perfect when the individual topics require a lot of connections and explanations like in the medical field it also works great if you have a linear progression of the storyline in the topics the best part about this method is that it is easy to create easy to demonstrate relationships and easy to elaborate the topic the bad part if you are using a notebook you may run out of space but for the ipad you get in unlimited space so you can just go on and on and on so this is how i take my notes on the ipad if you are a student and you have a budget i really recommend adding this ipad to your daily studies it has really made a lot of difference in mind thank you so much for watching this video and if you found it helpful please let me know in the comment section also make sure you subscribe this channel for more such content this is abhijit signing out keep making notes